Hello everyone, happy Halloween. Uh, thank you for joining me as I paint some more Halloween masks. I've been painting quite a few of them. I appreciate everyone that's been watching my shorts and my videos that I've uploaded to my channel. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would appreciate it if you hit subscribe and check out some of my prior videos. You could also hit the little bell icon to be notified when I upload new vids. But anyways, I picked up this Jack Skellington looking smiling clown mask at Party City. It was really cheap. It was only like $2.50. And I thought in my head, well, I could probably make this look pretty cool. You guys be the judge of that. Let me know in the comment section if you like the way these come out. This isn't the only mask I picked up. You will see the other one shortly. I went with a mustard kind of color. I've, I always feel like this is kind of a gross kind of creepy color if you do it right. I wanted to keep some of the black in between the teeth because why repaint that if it's already there. And this is the other mask I picked up. It's kind of a Jason inspired mask I guess. But these at Party City have kind of a weird diamond shape. Um, but I picked it up anyways. Gave it a good sanding. When you paint on these plastic masks be sure to sand them down so the paint has something to grab onto. Uh, makes it a lot easier in the long run the less coats you have to give it. So I painted this kind of a darker orange red color and when I was thinking about it I thought uh, I think I want to stick to like a reddish black color scheme. Uh, I haven't done one of those yet. I did a flame Jason mask that got good reception so you could see that short I uploaded on my channel if you're curious. So yeah this was a really thick paint, this Liquitex acrylic paint that I use most of the time. Sometimes I use basics because it's cheaper but the Liquitex has a more intense color most of the time. It's a little more expensive but definitely worth it if you pick, if you pick up that paint for your mask. So as I let the Jason mask dry I went back to this one. I gave this one two coats that's why you can see it's a lot brighter. And um, I gave it a red nose. The red nose is always creepy. And uh, I wanted to do kind of like a above the eyes, uh, I don't know what you would call this, kind of a terrifier red design on the mask. Also, let me know in the comments if you customize masks. I would like to see your channel. Link link your channel in the description and the comments I mean and I will be glad to check that out I love to see everybody's designs and what you're making for Halloween so I went in with a bright yellow here to kind of bring out the teeth a little bit and these masks always look really cool at night especially if you're standing under a spotlight or something like that you could really creep people out if you're trying to scare people So I'm trying to give a little texture to the mask. I go around the lips, try to give it some red around the lips a little bit to make the, the shape of the mouth pop out more. Let me know how you think this mask is coming out so far. I think it looks pretty cool. So as I let that dry, I come back to the Jason mask and I'm giving it kind of a a darker I, I believe it's a darker brown for some of the texture around it you could take some sandpaper to it after it dries to give it a rougher kind of a non glossy look and then I go in with a little bit of black here to to kind of highlight the where the eyes would be once you put on the mask and it always makes it pop a lot if you go in with them um, with some really bold lines around the eyes and the mouth and it'll really make it stand out and especially if you paint your paint around your eyes black it'll, it'll really look cool give it a cool effect so this is pretty much the end of uh, these masks I felt like that was enough sometimes you could go overboard and you want to stay away from doing that uh, too much is not great sometimes so you keep it simple, keep it clean, and let me know what you guys think. This is um, this might be the last mask I customized for this Halloween season. I've done a, quite a few. Thank you again, guys, for checking out my video. Let me know in the comments 
how you think I did and hope everybody has a safe Halloween. I'll catch you guys soon.